students and welcome to CIS 120 computer concepts now a few things to go through I want to introduce you to the basic course structure what's kind of what's expected where you can find course materials and materials for this course so a couple things number one uh, new textbooks starting summer of 2017 that means that the old yellow thick textbooks will not be usable there's a lot of change in content, the way the content's presented, the formats, etc. So you're going to need to get the new text and make sure that you get a SAM, Cengage, online learning environment. So there's information on that. We'll go through this in short detail. So first of all, course announcements. Anything that I need to announce to the class, you're going to find under course information, course announcements. Right now, there's just the announcement from last week. By the time you look at this, there'll be an announcement for this very welcome video that I'm creating right now. So any announcement that I send, I send via email to all registered students in the course and then post on Blackboard. So you'll get everything twice. Make sure you're checking those course announcements. Now, as we get into course information, what I want to show you here is here's that welcome video that you're now watching. Instructor information, if we click on that, matter of fact, I want to jump over to the student view so that you see exactly what you'll see in the video. So course information, we click here and then we can go into instructor information. Here is my contact information real quickly. This course, we'll talk more about this in the syllabus video. When I review the syllabus, you take the syllabus quiz but I am IC3 certified. This is the most recent certification. You have the opportunity while in this class to also earn the certification by taking three certification exams. More on that when we discuss the syllabus, which will be in a separate video. So there's my contact information. If you're interested, here is my resume. It'll give you my qualifications for teaching this course as well as teaching at COCC. The big thing to point out here, you all can read this, is with every email you send me, please make sure it says capital C, capital I, capital S, 120, exactly as it's shown, all together in every email you send. So just put that in the subject line, get used to doing that. That forwards your email onto a priority inbox so that you don't get stuck in my junk-filled inbox where I may miss your emails. All right, so I have a process. Once I read your email, it goes in a completed folder and it's done. Another quick thing on email. If your email is just informative to me, there's not a call to action or something I need to respond to, you can just assume that I've read it as long as you've got CIS 120 in the subject line. I don't do the thank you and thank you for thanking me for thanking you emails back and forth. So if there's a call to action, make sure that's clearly noted so that I know to respond. Here's the instructor calendar. I will be placing office hours on here, but you can see that uh, Monday through Thursday, teaching at the college, I have a CIS 120 in Redmond, Monday, Wednesday, Bend, Tuesday, Thursday, and then also an online. So all three of those CRNs are listed. All three are using this Blackboard module, so keep that in mind. <laughs> course syllabus is right here, so you can review the course syllabus for this course. A uh, few things different, you know, if you're a face-to-face, -face, online, etc. But all the information applies. Your final exam will be either a proctored, you'll take it at a proctored testing center. If you're out of town, we can find a testing center you can take it at. Uh, if you're in town, you have the opportunity to take it with me in person during the 10th week. I'll give a couple opportunities there. Or you can take it in the testing center at any COCC location. Rest of your tests uh, for online will be online with the 72 hour availability. Those folks that have in class face to face, your test will be given in class and you hybrid folks at a bend, the first exam will be given in class because it's within the first four weeks and then online after that. <laughs> now, uh, as I mentioned, this is brand new text, brand new content, which means I have the great opportunity to create all new lectures, all new focused videos, all new assignments. So I am gonna do diligent work to stay a week or two ahead um, starting this week with the content. So if you're going on vacation, you're gonna be gone for a week, you have the content that you can do before you leave, that way you're prepared. Okay, so here's the course schedule. 
And if we go down on the course schedule, we see there's also a weekly assignment schedule. So like I said, I will be updating this with assignments, okay, and making it fit uh, better here. But right now, there's no assignments because it's a brand new text and et cetera. There's one assignment already listed for chapter one. We'll look at that in just a minute. Very important is how you register for SAM. So this is the information that you need to register for the SAM Cengage online learning environment. Now, if you haven't ordered your textbook, as the video explained last week, um, you do have the opportunity to go in and sign up for SAM, create a user account with a 14-day free registration. So there is no reason why you can't complete the current assignments that are issued in SAM. Now, a note, if you don't put in your license key before that 14-day trial ends, then all of your content, material, anything you've completed is going to be taken out of, uh, out of our SAM course and then you'll be added in as a brand new student once you get your license. Video here explaining how to do that. Also a video explaining how to do the first attendance requirement. We're going to move on to that. You'll need this institution key, by the way. And make sure, please, please, please make sure that you sign up for the right section title. This is the current section title. It's all three of those CRNs, Summer 17. So if we look at the attendance requirement here, this is the first attendance requirement. You are going to go out to SAM. I even give you a video on how to complete this first assignment in SAM. We'll look at SAM in another video, so make sure you look at that. I'll add a video for that. Attendance requirement number two, I, I'll go through that. Notice this is just a placeholder for the second attendance requirement. It won't be available till Wednesday, June 28th. You must, especially online folks, but everyone in the class, must complete these two attendance requirements, okay? So those of you uh, that want to get a jump on it, make sure you complete the first attendance requirement, which is due by Wednesday at 11.59 um, p.m. and then 12.10 a.m. the next attendance requirement, which is a syllabus video and quiz, will open up for the course. Let's take a look at what a typical course week will look like. Your content is in week. You can do the shortcut or come here. We'll do the shortcut to a week. Now, something I found with using these new learning modules, which I like because they step you through the content, is that I provide colors for these titles. And I've talked with eLearning. I've sent them a video and hope they can get these colors because any graded assignment is always in red. Any optional assignment is always in green. Every chapter that you come across is going to have the chapter outcomes for the chapter. There's going to be a reminder that since you invested in the check, uh, textbook, why does that say chapter two? I'm going to have to change that. That should say chapter one. Uh, you invested in the textbook, either the ebook or the physical book, and you should be reading through that content. As I give lectures, I'll talk about this in just a minute. Uh, there are the lecture slides that I will be using. I'll be modifying these as we go and posting new ones. Uh, some of these are just the default ones that the publisher gives, and I'll be making improvements to the new text as we go through. Here's a chapter one practice question. It opens up on its own. Normally, there's 50 to 75 questions, matching, multiple choice, true, false. Notice these are optional, okay? I'm going to give you more material than you probably can consume. Consume as much as you want, you know, that, so that you meet the outcomes for this course. Whatever your goal is for the course, I want you to meet it. I'm going to make sure you have enough material to be successful. If you notice here, Sam Cengage, right now it says required since it can't be black and white, and it is the assignment. Okay, so this will be listed in that schedule of assignments. It is the Sam assignment, and it says directions. You're going to go to Sam Online Learning Environment, and I got to change that. Complete the chapter one. Introducing today's technology is assignment required. So that's how it'll be listed in SAM. Notice your grade will be manually entered into Blackboard once the due date of the assignment has passed. Okay, so that's a basic general introduction for the class. Again, there will be a detailed video going through the syllabus, about a 10 minute video plus a quiz that you'll take as the second attendance requirement. That'll open Wednesday. The last thing to discuss is class recordings. Now, whether you're registered in a in-person class, in a hybrid class, or online, you have the opportunity 
to watch the class recordings. These are going to be the lectures for everyone. If you notice, I'm in class recordings. First of all, if you are in a face-to-face -face class and you want to attend from home, you can. You can come in here, click Join Room, and download the Blackboard Collaborate feature, uh, which will give you the functionality, if you have a microphone, to talk to the class in real time. If you are going to participate from home, keep in mind, I will call on you. I expect you active and in class if you are in a face-to-face -face or a hybrid when we're supposed to be meeting, okay? But let's say you're going to miss a class. Well, after the class is done, and I'll be doing recordings for the Monday, Wednesday, and Tuesday, Thursday class when we're meeting in person. Tuesday, Thursday class, which is that bend hybrid, you will start watching the Monday and Wednesday recordings as your lectures. You online folks, you'll watch these recordings as your lectures. That's how you're going to get the information from me to meet those outcomes for each chapter and section. So what you would do is you'd come in here to recordings and as you can see, I've already changed the title. I'll use a 01 so that they stay 01, 02, 03 so that they stay in chronological order. This is the course introduction from today and the chapter one lecture you'll find. When you open these up, you can fast forward, you can rewind, you can pause, do homework, and then the date of what I recorded it. So I'll try to remember to come in and do this. If not, it will list the date and you can figure out what week um, if I miss coming in right after class and changing this. I've got to wait for it to render before I can change. So there we go. That's the content that we will consume. Let me know if you have questions. Remember CIS120 in emails that you send me and I do my best to do a 24-hour response on emails. That's my guarantee, Monday through Friday. The rest of the time, it's optional. I do normally beat that guarantee. Let me know if you have questions. Take care.